Hey buddies, <clears throat> back and we're gonna check out. Let's start off with Minecraft. It's something we know. Yeah. We can judge the performance based on our past experience. Yeah. So this is the Pocket Edition, which is actually also available on like your iPad and stuff like that. Okay. Um, let's just, I guess, start a new world right away. Whoa. Uh, X new. new. My world, put in a seed if you want. Creative survival, of course. Generate world. Mm, my God. I, I can't oh. judge this because I've never compared it to how it runs on a tablet. But it... And again, don't compare this to the console version. Like, right off the bat, I would look at this and say, this is damn good frame rate, but it's using the tablet version, so it better. Mm. They've optimized it for... It's funny because it probably runs so much better than the, the console version. Because, like, it's not in Java, for fuck's sake. Yeah. That's the worst part, is Mojang has proven that they can, like, disassemble and recode Minecraft from the ground up in a different programming language, but they won't for the PC version. Why not? Just do it. Make it efficient. Make it amazing. Yeah. Not that a Minecraft's not amazing, but it could be so much better if they just recode it in something else. But it's it's working. It's Minecraft, all right. I'm kind of used to using Minecraft with a controller for my like carpal tunnel. Trigger to dig. Yeah, it was a different studio that did it, actually that did the reassembling of Minecraft, like recoding it. Did you get wood? It doesn't give you achievements in the mobile version. Hey! I want achievements. Welcome to Minecraft on Amazon Fire TV. <laughs> this is our new series. Make. So you don't have to actually assemble, like you can just choose all these from a menu. Yeah, it's so weird. I was watching my nieces and nephews play this. it like this, and I was like, what? I don't, <laughs> you can enter a message. Oh. By oh. A. Dear, bear, bear, bear. But it's just going to go search. Oh. Yeah, shit. This would be so powerful mm -hmm. if they would integrate it. I hope they do. It's just got to be a matter of, like, an update, right? How do you... Well, also, like, I mean, technically, go to the message thing again, and I, and I imagine this works. Uh, how did I get there? Back. Didn't you just press, like, that? Oh. No. Nope. How'd you do it? Oh, that's what I was looking for before. You don't even know how you... No. How did I do it? <laughs> I have no idea how you did it. Whatever, I'm sure it works. Alright, one other thing though. We know how Minecraft works. It looks like it works pretty good. <laughs> uh, but if I go back out... So, home. Now if I go in with this, let's see if it works with... I don't know if it does, but it would be really interesting if it did. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the point of the typing oh my God. thing is. How am I gonna... What? Oops. Yeah, it. you need the controller for this. It, I think that this can navigate just a little bit, but it, yeah. you can't actually use the app like this. All right, so... I don't like using doing Minecraft with the controller. Let's check this game weird. out. Which was developed first hand or first party title by Amazon Game Studios, one of Amazon's first ever games. Interesting. It has its own multiplayer coming soon for that Minecraft Pocket Edition. Oh, that's really interesting. Huh. Okay. Options. Let's start the game. Oh. Uh, whoa. 
it's got its kinks, you know, like. Yeah. Loading. So this, I think this game is gonna show us what it's capable of, like to its extreme. In the this... early 22nd century, Earth had depleted its energy resources. Yeah, Dark... I don't care. <laughs> Let's play. Uh... Welcome back, Lieutenant. Oh, You're I'm- You're the only member of Sub-Zero. I'm Master Chief. Let's go. Done. Story written. Human life readings, one. Okay. A Sub-Zero team? Your timing is impeccable. I am Dr. Ama Ramanujan. I'm syncing with this computer core and activating ground defenses. We'll talk later. R defend the refinery core by pre build. Oh, it's tower defense? I thought that this was their first person game. Don't they have a first person game that they developed? Too many aliens enter the core and destroy the refinery. Look out, the aliens are approaching. I have no idea what I'm doing. Select the position with the left stick and press A to build the tower. Okay. It's just tower defense. First person tower defense. It is first person tower defense? Maybe. All I know is that during the previews or the commercials for this, we watched a thing that was like a third person or maybe first person like action game. Do you guys remember that? I just looked at this the title for this, or like the image, and thought this was it. That's where it was. Um, I don't know, but- Oh wait, beam down. Uh, oh, here we go, here okay. we go. Look up at your ship with Third the right- Third person, and yes. Right stick set to normal. So right the away, like- alert. The Neatu have landed in this sector. This is- like a real game. Yeah. You know? Heading into the nearest dark matter refinery core. I can link to the network from inside. Ah. I'm activating the core's energy shield. Okay, Liara. Given the strength of the Nantu, it won't last long under a direct attack. Make sure they don't get that far. Enemy animations are pretty limited. At a distance, they seem to get lower frame rate. My guy seems to be moving around at a little over 30 frames per second, maybe a little less sometimes, it depends. More aliens are attacking get to them by beaming back to the ship with Y. Okay. Well, this is an interesting concept. I think this is a little bit like um, Sanctum. Okay. Uh, it's another game like out there on PC that it's a combination of tower defense and first-person shooter. Oh, weird. It said something like $20 to build a tower. Points. Yeah, 20, 28 Points. Yeah, I don't dollars. think it's a pay-to-play. We paid for the game. Um, the, wait, but how, how does premium? that work? I doubt it. That would be so stupid. It better not stupid. be free-to-play slash buy the towers to play better. Oh, send next wave early oh. to earn $9. Okay. Do it. Waiting for them to appear. Oh, I can damage them when I land. Seems like you get money for killing enemies. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Yep, you do. It's kind of fun to be helped out by the things that I'm sending the next wave. Um, it's neat. Uh, I would. It's. I'm not. It's Super free and interested. it's pre-installed, so it's good for that, I think. Level it up. Pew, pew, pew. It feels like the ty a type of thing I'd have to spend a lot of time with on my own to really judge the depth of it. Yeah. I don't really feel like doing that either. It hasn't interested me enough to... Fire weapon attachment. Ooh. It feels like a tablet game on a big screen. In all honesty, it does resemble Sanctum, but watered down a bit. Okay. Do not run. Beam back. All right. The shields are taking damage. I think I heard a guy on the way down. 
Oh, nice. Like you landed on his head or something? Yeah, but like that's a good example of the lack of flair that the game has because shouldn't have shown me a cool animation yeah. where I landed on him. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Level clear. You 100%ed it. Thank you. I'm a, I, so I'm done with that. Yeah. So there's a thing. It's interesting to see that not just two-dimensional games. I think they think it. They probably thought it was important to show that not just side scrollers are possible. You know. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take a quick look at this one. <laughs> I fight bears. Games for people with beards. Hey, that's you. I have to step outside with Baby Hank. Wait, shouldn't I like? I feel like I should cut each segment so that I'm checking out each one individually, right? Mm, like in case you might want to. Even though this wouldn't be a full look at it. All right. Hey, we're checking out the new Amazon Fire TV, and we're gonna look at Fist of Awesome. Contains nudity. <laughs> Does it really? I think it might have said bear nudity. <laughs> is being crushed by a rampaging bear. <laughs> Fist of Oz. Oh, oh. Automatically saves whenever you see this logo. Tim Burr's house, present day. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, yeah, it happened on his birthday. We're going to party like it's 1969. What's that noise? Oh. My house. My family. <laughs> what in the name of John Bon Jovi is going on? Whoa, my hand feels odd. <laughs> The universe needs you, Timber. <laughs> Arg, my hand is alive. Stop shouting. <laughs> I get it, Timber. Arg. Shut up, Timber. Listen to me. Earth's history has been compromised. Everything you know never happened. The timeline must be restored. Who the hell in dotes are you? <laughs> Why, I'm the mighty fist of awesome. I think they like music. Will you help me, Timber? I guess so. <laughs> Great, I'm taking control of your nervous system. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this feels weird! I Fight Bears present a game by Nicole Hunt. This is made by a girl? You wouldn't have thought. No. I thought it would be a guy with a beard. Fist of all. I thought it would be him. Good. That's working fine. <laughs> now I'm going to punch a deer. <laughs> oh, it's going to be all acapella. Warning. Tetchy deer. First blood. You knocked out your first dis disgruntled deer. Excellent, your mind's most malleable. I'm 100% happy about not. this. I'm not 100%. <laughs> More deer. <laughs> Beauty cake. Do not eat fire. <laughs> oh, Nicole's a guy? Oh. Damn. Combo. Oh, that's some super sexy girl who developed this game. <laughs> I was gonna be in love. Oh. Keep up your combo! Keep up your combo! I'm trying! Hold X for fist. Fist! Fist! This is so stupid. Fist! Fist! Eat, kill, love nature. Fist! Do you have to build up your fist? It's so slow. Everybody's like... Oh! <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh my god. 
Why to stomp L1 to back kick? I don't know why I'd ever stomp, it has very little range. Oh, I guess if the guy's on the ground. So. Yeah. I feel like Kyle would get a kick into this. Yeah, that's why I feel like we're wasting it. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna actually, because of that, maybe leave and we'll do it with the guys. And I probably won't separate this segment. This will just be like, yeah. It's too good not to show to the guys. <laughs> Alright, press home to leave the game. Alright, let's check out some other games real quick. I'm not gonna check out Badland right now, because I know that I want to give it its own like good 40 minute segment at some yeah. point. I'm gonna take a really quick look at Bit Brawlers, just to mainly test out one of the things I wanted to test out was, can I get an Xbox 360 controller working at the same time to do two-player? Badlands should be a thing on its own. I played the heck out of it. Yeah, I hear it. Like it's supposed to be amazing, and the sound especially, the developer was adamant that we play with headphones when we were at PAX. Mm. All yeah. right. Per se? Woo. There you go, all right. I should be red. Next test. Oh. I... A USB hub. Um, let me see if I can get multiple 360 controllers working with it, which is important if we're gonna do four player games on this without buying four $50 controllers from Amazon when we have enough controllers as it is. Yeah, really? And it's just a carbon copy, right? Like, of the 360 controller, so why should I ever have to buy more when I already own them? Okay, did it light up? Uh, where was that one? I think you have that one. I might have to plug this in. Did it light up? No. You mean... Which one? Yours. The one in oh, yours. Oh, yeah. So there's two. Where did the other one this go? Is, this is the one that I've always had. The yep. one that you... Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. I need one more Xbox 360 wired controller. I thought I brought over another one. That one over there? All right, go grab that. So this is a test to see if a USB hub works. Right now it's identifying one controller from the hub. Let's see if it identifies two controllers from the hub. It lit up? Yep. Oh my god, it works. And this is information I did not find on Google. I looked around all over the place to see if it would. Uh huh. And came up empty handed. So, all right, so where's the second player? I guess we don't have three. So yeah, um, a USB hub, a simple USB hub with multiple wired U Xbox 360 controllers works. Unfortunately, you're not gonna, if you don't already own wired 360 controllers, you're not gonna save that much money. Yeah. But they're more versatile, they work with the PC as well. These might end up working with the PC, we're not, we don't know yet. Um, so it's, if you're gonna get an Amazon Fire TV, that's something to take into consideration. Uh, we won't really do much in here, but we'll just jump in. Everybody press ready. Alright. Player one, press X when everybody's ready. Magic, jump, and attack. So yeah, I don't want to go into this too deep because I know we're going to give it its own episode. Okay. But it's like Smash Bros. Power Fall combined, kind of. Because it works with percentage instead of like one hit kills. Like Ooh, Swords knock into each other. What? You don't fall. You can try this, guys. Now. <laughs> oh, you get double okay. jump. Triple, quadruple jump. Ah, uh, it's not working. Oh, really? Yeah, no. Well, that's weird, because it let you sign in, yeah. right? Oops. Okay. Let me try again. Press A on this. 
Press stay on this. Press stay on this. Ready? 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 X for player one. X to continue. Interesting. Did you, did you just walk off the side? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Interesting that it would log me in. Yeah. So this isn't really a confirmation of any of it working then. Uh, Maybe the game is fine. It could be that the game creator didn't account for the use of multiple controllers. What is interesting, though, is the fact that the game recognizes that two are plugged in because, um, I don't know if you can see that, but the two is lit up on this one and the three is lit up on this one. So it's recognizing that they are separate. It didn't think they were both like the same controller or anything like that. So, get out of there. All right, don't kill the guy whose controller's working. Okay. I'll contact them about this. It might be a matter of just like them not knowing that this was even gonna be a thing. But they, yeah, maybe they only really accounted for four of these and didn't really think that people would plug in a hub. Yeah, maybe. Um, let me do one other thing. In case it is the hub, let me just unplug the hub. And I'll plug in my... I've had, like, sometimes hubs can have weird compatibility issues, even though we've demonstrated that it was recognizing one of the controllers. Just everyone's getting blown off the edge and everyone's dying and it's not my fault. What I've done is I've plugged in the keyboard now, which has two side slots, which should have less compatibility issues if there were any at all. So this is just kind of like a last ditch attempt. There's pretty much no way to the hub. Okay, mm, well. They're not lit up Oh, it now. doesn't like the, it doesn't like the keyboard doing it, probably because there's not enough power coming through to the keyboard. So I guess probably a developer um, oversight, probably just because he didn't realize, didn't take into account that anybody would try that. Yeah. Yet it's early days, so we'll forgive them. But only this time. I'll contact him just to verify whether He's it's the true. guy that we were talking to, that I was talking to most, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get a hold of him and we'll see. It would be nice to know whether it is... Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll try another game that allows multiplayer. I'm just trying to make sure that this is... They're not lighting up again, for some reason. So I just... Oh, because I didn't plug it back in. Okay. There we go. They light up right away with the hub. Yeah. This one's four this time. This one's one. Let's try one more time. Okay, so press A and then try to go... Yeah, you can down. even select, it's almost definitely a bug in the game then. Yeah. The fact that we're able to press up and down and that registers, but... But then you can't control yourself. So this one's working. This one is not okay. working. And this one... Let's just do one is. more thing. Grab a, another wired controller from somewhere. Like this? Or... Oh, actually that's a test. Here, before we go any further. There's this. I have, um, I bought this from, uh, I forget the website, Retro USB, I think. It allows you to plug in an, a Super NES. Okay. Let me see if I can, um, make it work. Do you want to Thank try you. this one? Oops. Ah, it's not registering. Or did it? It registered mine. Oh. That would have been really cool if it yeah, took... Yeah, totally. Because this just works off of normal, um... Whatever the hell the standard is. Like, it's a normal USB controller. What do they call it? Alright, 
One other thing, I'm gonna get another wired Xbox 360 controller, because remember that one time we had the, that weird issue where, with Legend of Dungeon, or Endless mm, Dun Legend of yes. Dungeon, where one controller wouldn't work. Yeah. So let's see if I plug okay. in another, if we can get two working. Um, I'll, I'll try to search for one too. Okay. Uh, I might have one right here. Do you? Yep. All right, we got a fourth one, or a third one at least. All right, we're back. X input, is that the standard? Yeah. Okay, it logged this one in. Let's see if, oh, it doesn't wanna. Let's start the game again or whatever. Can you hear me? Can you hear it now, guys? All right. Test, test. This is me testing my mic. Yes, it works. Okay, thanks. Did you press yours in? That's mine. So it's that one that's not working? Okay. So it doesn't even want one of them to sign in. All right, so let's... Is this the new one? Yeah. Oh, no, but that wasn't the issue in the first place. Yeah, place. sign in. Uh. Okay, let's see. It also, I selected... I got one working. Or oh. we, we always had two working. I'm not working now. All right, so there's something weird going on. And I selected a gray guy, and he showed up as green. There's glitches. So yeah, I it's think early that... days. It's early days on this game. It's almost. It even says beta, so we will forgive yeah. them. I'm looking forward to playing that game though. Mm -hmm. Was there another multiplayer game that we could quickly test? Uh, multiple controller setup. You don't know Jack Party? Uh, probably, right? Logo standing by. Let's lose legal and go logo. Yeah, I'm sure they'll get that fixed. Um, to be fair to the Ouya, the Ouya also works with wired Xbox controllers. Am I right? Activation is live. Okay, we're on. House. Paper towel man, and I'm here to clean up. Oh, spill. Uh -oh. Unless you'd rather use that paper towel you usually use. Well, how good is brazen? How good is brazen? Shut your trap, and I'll tell you. It's hey, counting you this. Like okay, Shut it's derpy. It's these two. The as far as the Amazon fires can oh, they're, the the they're the same brain. person. One single sheet of brazen will sop up a small scummy pond. See that milk? Yes. Well, watch this, baby. Let's try one more. Okay. So one of them is both. Yeah. We could really use that to our advantage. <laughs> New control. Oh, this. It, it knew that I picked it up. I hadn't pressed a button yet. It must have some sort of motion. Weird. Use your phone or tablet as a controller as well. Scan this. Oh my god. When, it, when there's a scannable thing, what does that mean? What do you open to scan it? The iOS doesn't have like a thing to. I, I don't know. I've never understood those things. I've never used one. So all right. So the anyways. A scan app. A barcode so you have scanner. To go get, QR scanner. You have to go get an app. There are apps for scanning. There are apps for scanning. So why hasn't you would have thought that Apple would have embraced it by now and had a built-in one? Like mm -hmm. so you didn't have yeah, to go. Yeah, totally. Because I the always, fact that we don't know that is pretty crazy. I've just never been interested. Why the fuck would I care? <laughs> I, I have done it on my 3DS and that's it. Alright, so there's derpiness. I think that probably the only foolproof way of playing right now multiplayer games is you go get four of these, which is... Whew. 
expensive and silly. Yeah. Hopefully, like, I'll keep tabs on it, and hopefully they'll iron that out. I mean... That sucks, because I really want to play Bit Brawler soon. I know, why. Right? Maybe I'll work with him and see if he can figure that out, so that, or at least he can, maybe it is figured out, maybe there's just a way around it. Yeah. If we can get it figured out with him, it will mean that reasonably, we should be rest assured that it'll work eventually with for all games. Yeah. One last thing, I just wanted to take a quick little peek at this and see what it's all about, because this looks adorable. I'm just gonna skip this story. Maybe we'll check it out sometime. Oh, it's a boy? <laughs> Apparently. The fact that things like this are involved, like, it excites me. Like, it yeah. looks like, you know, real, quirky, interesting, original games are involved in this. So you're aiming with, um... Yes. Oh, I see. It looks like it's a runner with shooting. Oh, you're not controlling the speed, or...? No. I guess you're... It's on rails, so okay. to speak. That's about all I need to see right now. Looks so, like an Atari game. So that's on there. It's got, like, more than your standard... Like, I was expecting just a lot of crap, cash-in crap, you know. <laughs> but it's got real artistic, beautiful, little, quirky, yeah. original things in it. Um, I would love to see how walking... How, like, a Telltale game runs on it. Oh, it's free. There you go. Let's demo how Holy Telltale cow. games run on it. The complete first season? Wow. Holy shit. This might take a while to download. <laughs> Seriously, they're giving away the complete first yeah. season right now on Amazon Fire? Holy crap. Is... Wait a minute. It says in-app purchasing. Key details. So maybe it only gives you the first episode, then you buy the next ones? Episodes 2 to 5 can be purchased via in-app. There you go. Okay. Well, let's test it out. Because that... I feel like this one, more than anything, is going to stretch this thing to its limits. Like... It barely runs sometimes on a PC yeah. or a 360. And... Can I just see it? Hmm? At one point, I want to uh, try to take over. Go ahead. I'm fighting you. I go left, you go right. Okay. Yeah, it just fights. Oh, okay. I'll put mine down. It's very <laughs> tempting. <laughs> Uh-oh, sibling rivalry, <laughs> totally. It's really hard not to, at this point, recommend this. It's a hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, if you, it's funny because if you want, were interested in playing some tablet games, but didn't want to spend like 300 bucks for a tablet, this is a way to play tablet games that, you know, I think that some of the best tablet games will end up on these systems. Yeah, I can these see Ouyas that. These and these, oh, it's downloading. Well, maybe while that downloads, maybe that'll be the final segment. There's one more thing I'd like to try, and that's trying to get the phone working with this. So The phone? Yeah, oh, the second screen capabilities. Okay. Be right back. 